Our UK adventure really kicks off this week as we arrive in Dumfries and Galloway. But van life in Scotland doesn't get off to the best start as we are rudely awakened at 3am. Well, we've just arrived in Bonny Old Scotland and we're probably at the muddiest park up that we've ever been at. It's obviously been a lot of rain here because the puddles are massive. Great for the kids because they've got their waterproofs on and are currently splashing in the puddles and we're just like, please don't splash too much. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get that all dry fine. We are right near Cavalock Castle. So we're gonna go on a walk and go and see that. We actually used to live in Dumfries and Galloway, so it's nice to be back and it's a good starting point for our big tour of Scotland. So I was just walking along on the way to Calaverock Castle and realised that actually we had been here before uh, shortly after Piper was born when we were living in Dumfries. So we've actually just come across the first Calaverock. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's Calaverock Castle. Uh, the first one uh, which was actually one of the first stone castles to be built in Scotland which is pretty impressive. So we're just having a little look here and then we'll actually go and find the one that is still standing. Yeah, so I think this castle is double moated. So this would have been like the first moat, like the outer moat. And then if we get to the top here, I think we'll find the inner moat. Oh, come on, Teddy. Come on, up the hill. So let's have a look. You can do it. There we are, and there's the inner moat. You can imagine actually just that in all its glory. Coming along on your horses down there, over the bridge into the courtyard, would be incredible. Well, good morning everyone. Kira has just uh, gone out on a run and I thought I would show you our shiny new front tires which we had put on yesterday. However, as you can see by this muddy park up that we stayed in last night, my shiny new tires are now absolutely filthy. Um, but what we had is Michelin Agalis cross climates put on the front. They're supposedly uh, really good in the wet, really good on mud, um, uh, really good on snow, that sort of stuff. So hopefully they'll give us a bit more grip. But there you go. Our beautiful shiny new tyres. Good morning. Today we're making tracks, but before we leave, I thought I'd just show you the, the facilities you've got at this uh, this park up. So, just flip the camera around. You've got your, your drinking water and your wastewater down there, as it should be. And then you've also got a toilet emptying point here. Now it is, there we are, that's a view of the car park. It is really, really muddy at the minute, but that's um, that's the weather for you and you can't really do too much about that. I'm sure it's completely different in summer and it's probably beautiful and probably hard to get space here in summer. Um, it, isn't, it isn't sort of manned as such, but they do ask for a donation, which I think they suggest uh, five pound per night, um, which I think is fair enough for what you get here, actually. There's no electric, um, but your location, it's beautiful. With the walk right down uh, on the Solway Firth, you've got the Cavalock Castle, um, just a 20 minute walk, probably even less with kids. <laughs> 20 minute walk down there, so really good spot. Definitely recommend if anyone's coming to Dumfries and Galloway and is heading to sort of the coast first. Right guys, so today we are heading to Kukubri, which is a place, another place that we used to live. 
So instead of taking the direct route from like Dumfries, we've decided to take the scenic route, haven't we? Like, yeah, we're going to go on the coastal road, which is part of the Southwest 300. So it's another one of the Scottish driving, driving routes. routes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course you can. Yay! That is pretty cool, actually. Skate park opposite. That's us at Kukubri. Now, we used to live here from, I believe, 2017 to 2019. Um, and we actually sold our house here to go traveling for the first time in our motorhome. Uh, so it's gonna be quite interesting having a wander around our old stomping ground. It seems like we're just uh, stopping off at all the places we used to live. So let's go see how, uh, how the place has changed. Not much, I would imagine. So we've just been woken up by like massive gust of wind. It's like three o'clock in the morning. We knew before we went to bed last night that we were gonna be getting strong gusts of wind through the night. So we were having like a bit of a debate. Do we get the popped up down? Um, it's quite conflicting how strong the winds have to be before you can actually, before we need to get the popped up down up there. But it's just, yeah, laid there and just felt the van wobble a bit. So I've just given Richard the nudge we're just going to wait and see if there's another strong gust and see if we need to actually get the kids down and all bundle into our bed. So we'll just, uh, we'll wait and see. There we are. So we've, we've called it. We've decided that the pop top needs to come down. So we're just now going to just wake up Piper and Jack. They're going to come in in my bed, our bed, and Rich is going to sleep on the floor. Light up in the corner, baby. Let me flatten that pillow for you, darling. Yeah, it's just because it's a little bit too windy. Okay, right, you get them set up. Hey, Good night, babe. Okay, this is this is like good for a small person. <laughs> I don't know what you're suggesting. <laughs> suggesting that you sleep down there. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. I think the pink sleeping bag really suits you. Yeah. All right. Night night. Yeah. Well, I ain't sleeping. Well, good morning, guys, and that was one eventful night it was wasn't it? it wasn't our best night in here Got no, be our worst, it was, yeah. no it, it was our worst yeah. yeah yeah so we knew when we set off on this trip heading up to scotland in autumn um, and early winter was gonna stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. stupid yeah no that's one way of looking at it it was <laughs> gonna have its challenges we know we lived we have lived in scotland for three years uh and autumn can be quite uh, formidable the winds mm -hmm. the rain mm -hmm. And last night was one of those nights, wasn't it? It was. I just, I think it was, we knew it was coming. We knew the winds were going to be yeah. bad through the night, but we decided to leave the pop top up and just, you know, play it by ear. But then it was like 3 a.m., wasn't it? And I just like bolt up right. We're like, Rick, yeah. you, you need to get the pop gust. top down. There was a big it gust. Was... What we normally do is I'll park the van in uh, a southwesterly um, or in a southwesterly direction so the wind would hit the lower end of the pop top come over the top typically last night was a southeasterly wind gusting 41 mm -hmm. uh in the early hours so yeah that um it was a big gust it was strong i don't think the it would have actually bit, yeah the it? van shook i don't think it would have actually done anything to the pop top but the kids are up there so we got them down they got into uh the big bed at the back with, with Kira, me. and poor old me you're on the floor i had to sleep on the floor <laughs> With Charlie. I slept in the dog's bed. <laughs> I, was in, I was in the doghouse, literally in the doghouse. Almost. I'm not yeah. sure who had a worse sleep though. I was quite uh, 
squeezed in with the kids in the bed so yeah but that is the realities of of this we know we're gonna face probably but I think the difficulty, is, the difficulty is that we don't know what the pop top can endure in terms of miles per hour on the winds so and it's hard to find that information out it's isn't very it? hard i had a look online there's a bit of information about tent boxes which are sort of similar, similar. but there's not much detail about the, the the sort of load capacity or the wind on these pop tops so yeah. if you have a pop top if you've used a pop top if you're used to having one um then let us know what is the what are the max gust speeds yeah what are you comfortable leaving it up yeah. in because yeah we'd be interested to find out i, I think, think for us about gusting 40 mile an hour is max max but then again last night 40 mile an hour if we positioned the van which i wasn't going to do at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> But if the van was posi positioned right, I would happily leave it at 40 mile an hour, to be honest. Because um, yeah. it would just go straight over the back. Okay. Um, when it's hitting the front, it's going to cause major problems. Yeah. So yeah. But let us know because I'm sure the winds are going to get worse as we get further yeah. north. So, so if you've got a pop top in the comments, what wind speeds are you happy with? And if you haven't had any disasters, <laughs> let us know that. Then <laughs> let us know. Or maybe not let us know. Uh, That's true. Yeah. Cool. Well, anyway, we are off now to uh, quickly do some services while we're here, and then we're going to go see some of the Dumfries and Galloway locals. More see how we get locals. on. Locals. They're bloody weirdos. Right, I always get the most unpleasant jobs. Apparently, it's a man job. So it should be. Well guys, if you're coming to Galloway, make sure you drive the Queen's Way from New and Stewart to New Galloway. It goes right through the heart of the Galloway Forest Park and you'll stop off at two cool places, seeing some nice locals. The first of which is where we are now, which is the Wild Goat Park. Mm, I think he's enjoying that bit. You were a goat. What, what happened? happened? <laughs> Did you fall over? Oh dear. Let me see your face. Oh no. Uh, these animals uh, are an ancient breed. They were kept by our ancestors and the Vikings liked them and all that sort of stuff. But here's an interesting little fact, or interesting, pretty disgusting actually. Oh, it's minging. Is that in the rut, which is this time of year in um, uh, August to January, <laughs> is to attract the females you know they don't have the chat up lines but what they do 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 is, do, do, do. <laughs> what they do do is they wee in their mouths so they urinate in their own mouths and then they dribble that wee into their beards so there we go don't do be fit? trying that later i don't know i might give it a go <laughs> might give it a go see if i get lucky <laughs> right so that's it we're just going to head to see the red deer now Teddy want to do one? I want to do one. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. And one. There you go. It's like they eat like carrots. You know what I'm doing? Look at that one, look down. Once again, we've found ourselves driving off-road, so it's a little bit bumpy. We're on Raiders, Raiders Road, which is basically a forest drive in Dumfries and Galloway. We've caught it just in time because it does actually close uh, for the winter from the 31st of October. So just in the nick of time, um, there's a place called Otter Pools just along here, which is quite beautiful. And we are hoping we can stay the night here because it's supposed to be part of the, the Forest and Land Scotland's stay the night scheme. Um, so fingers crossed, we'll go and find out. Water may rise suddenly due to hydroelectric operations. So that's no overnight parking here. 
Yeah, no, it's down the other end. I must admit, I should have really clicked onto it because. Um, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, but I really just want to. Um, I want to park up now and get a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, well, what I'm saying here. Yeah. So we're just going to have a look at the the map now. It's quite handy because the the actual Forest and Land Scotland have an interactive map on their website where you can actually search for the, the park ups. We got it wrong, we thought this was one of them, but we're just gonna have a look now. I believe there's one at the end of the, at both ends of the forest drive, basically. This is sort of in the middle, so we've got a few options. Yeah, so basically we're in the middle, um, we're in the middle of the forest drive. Mm. There's a park in at Loch Struan. Well guys, that's us parked up for the night. We've got this beautiful park up all to ourselves. You see I've strung a little washing line out there from where Teddy fell flat on his face in the puddle earlier. Um, but yeah, really good. We're just on Raiders Road in uh, the Forest Drive, um, just in the Galloway Park here. They've got a good scheme. Um, I'll show you here. Um, you might be able to see that. There we go, stay the night in your motorhome camper van. Um, these stops are actually listed on a couple of the apps so you can find them on there but they're really good you can stay one night free of charge at this place the one further up the road at uh, Clatter and Shores which is the visitor centre they do charge you I think it's about eight quid for the night but they do have facilities I believe um, so yeah just us we'll see if anyone joins us hopefully not um, and we've got a lovely peaceful evening overlooking this uh, loch strewn Jack, this one. <laughs> oh dear. Jack, how did this happen? Do you know how much of a nightmare that is going to be to dry? I know. This is the biggest nemesis, like three kids in a van. It's not good. <laughs> it's like you head, you head to the lakes, the locks, but... Jeez, that's going to take till next spring to dry, <laughs> literally. We're in Scotland, so it'll be next summer actually. Right, yeah, let's have a look at this one. Hold on to me. No, that one's, that one's escaped. Well guys, that's us now finished up in Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, despite the weather, which has been pretty uh, horrendous. horrible. Horrendous, yeah, yeah, that's the right word. <laughs> uh, we've had a pretty good time. Um, yeah, it's been good. We've had a pretty good time. So we're now heading north up into Ayrshire before we arrive at Loch Lomond. For Loch tonight. Lomond, yeah. So we're going to be heading up to Loch Lomond uh, in next week's video. Uh, and uh, we're hoping the weather is going to improve because at the minute, it's pretty bad. We have looked at the forecast. We thought we'd have a cheeky look. We've looked at just the seven day one um, and it's still looking pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, no, it's still looking pretty bad. And we are heading up north. We're heading up to do the North Coast 500. So make sure that you do subscribe, tick the little notification box so you get reminders of the next well. videos. Yep, yep. Yep, so yeah guys, um, don't forget to do that and if you enjoyed this video in particular then don't forget to click like and leave us a comment to let us know. So we'll see you next week. See ya.